So today we've got a rather interesting video because we're going to be talking about Child Emperor's Okami Mask. And this is just essentially like the Scouter from Dragon Ball Z. It's pretty much just reading one's power level. Uh, and let me just also mention that this is coming from the bonus chapter numbers. And I strongly suggest that you check this chapter out because it is definitely one of the better chapters in One Punch Man. Like, certainly up there with the best. I mean, this is just all around one of the best manga chapters I have read. It's a lot of fun, and there's a lot more that happens in it other than just the Okami Mask. This chapter also introduces the Saitama group, so please check it out if you ever get the chance. So aside from that, the Okami Mask is a device developed by Child Emperor that analyzes the muscle mass, neural development, and weight distribution of an individual. And he goes on to use this thing on multiple characters in this chapter. And the results are pretty damn fascinating, and it gives us a more in-depth look into the overall power scale of One Punch Man, and it actually kind of clears up some of the misconceptions and just questions we had overall. So Child Emperor also uses the mask on a bear, and I want to put his reading out there first to establish a foundation of what we're going to be comparing everyone's power to, because from this point on, you're either going to be stronger than a bear or you're not. So the bear's reading is 905. And a Hero Association member, which is essentially just a normal dude, you know, not a hero, his reading is 22. So now we're going to Red Muff, who is C-Class rank 89. So we're looking at a C-Class hero here, and his reading is 100. So now we're going to Darkness Blade, who is B-Class rank 50, so we're B hero. He is 759. So going from C to B, we have a significant increase. And all right, so after that, we go to Great Philosopher. Now we're getting into A-Class. He's A-Class rank 13. And this guy is 2,442. Wow, that's quite the significant frigging increase. Also, this guy seems to be like one of the more muscular A-Class heroes. And also, his rank 13, meaning that he is one of the stronger ones in general. So after that, he uses on Stinger, who is A-Class rank 10. You know, Stinger, one of the more well-known A-Class heroes, but he is only 1,600, meaning that he's lower than Great Philosopher, who he is outranking. So I guess just based off of their own individual strength, you know, Great Philosopher is physically stronger than him, but Stinger seems to be more capable overall. So after that, Child Emperor turns the mask on himself, and this is a very interesting reading. So Child Emperor turns out to be 1,880. That's right, the 10-year-old Child Emperor is 280 points higher than the A-Class Hero Stinger. So what does this mean? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I assume it means that Child Emperor was not only blessed with mental capabilities, but physical ones as well. And this also kind of seems to line up with his feats in general, since we saw that once Phoenix Man, like, hit him head on, like, of course, it went through his shield and hit him directly, but still, he was thrown into a wall, and he kind of shook it off no problem, and this is a 10-year-old kid, after all, and if it was a regular kid, he'd probably die, if not be reduced to, like, organs and whatnot, so I think this is an accurate depiction of what Child Emperor physically is capable of. And after that, he goes on to read Stitch, the committee chairman from the Hero Association, and it turns out that Stitch is just unmeasurable. Like, we saw that the Hero Association member was 22, but Stitch is even weaker than that, to the point of where the mask can't even read him. And apparently, this happens when someone is too weak to be a hero. So we're also getting a monster reading in this chapter because they run into the monster Spider Reno. And Child Emperor first uses the mask on the human top portion of the monster, and it turns out to be 402, which Child Emperor likens to disaster level wolf. And we're seeing that it's stronger than Red Muff, the C-Class rank 89 hero who had a reading of 100, but it's weaker then Darkness Blade, who had a reading of 759. He was also the B-Class rank 50 hero. But when he turns it on the spider portion of the monster, it turns out to be 6,999, which Child Emperor says is high enough to make him a disaster level demon. 
All right, so now that we have all of this data, let's try to make some sense of it. So the other comparative scale that we get in the bonus chapter disaster level, we find out that disaster level wolf is equatable to three C-class heroes and one B-class hero. And we're finding out that this pretty much makes sense since the top portion of Spiderino was 402 and we saw that the C-class hero Red Muff was 100. So that's pretty much like three C-class heroes. And we also saw that the B-class hero Darkness Blade is 759. And I think this further gives credence to the whole low, mid, and high disaster level scaling since Spiderino at 402 is comparable to a B-class hero, but we saw that Darkness Blade, a B-class hero, was 759. So this probably means like Spiderino is either like a low or maybe a mid wolf, and a high wolf would probably be like 759 area. We also find out that Disaster Level Tiger is equatable to five B-class heroes or one A-class hero. And we saw that the two A-class heroes read in this chapter are Stinger and Grey Philosopher, and they both have levels above 1500. So I assume that a Tiger would be baseline around 1500, maybe higher than that. It all really depends. But based off the readings we have seen, I think that's more or less accurate. And now we are getting into the most interesting scale, and that is, of course, Disaster Level Demon, which is said to be equatable to 10 A-class heroes or one S class hero. And based off of Spider Reno being 6,999 and being a demon himself, that means that it's very likely that we are looking at the power of an S class hero, which would be around 7,000. Uh, would we assume at like the base level possibly? So of course, I'm not saying an S-class hero would read at 7,000, but I think this is just giving us a rough estimate of like what one of the weaker ones could possibly look like. like maybe Puri Puri Prisoner or maybe Tank Top Master. It's really debatable, of course. But we're also seeing that like if one of the weaker S-class heroes is say 7,000, that means one of the stronger heroes could possibly be above 10,000. Like just based off of the difference between Stinger and Great Philosopher, because Stinger was 1600 and Great Philosopher was 2442. So I think it's likely that guys like Darkshine would probably be like above 10,000. So we actually do get a few more readings in this chapter and I'll talk about them now. So Child Emperor asked to read Bang's level, but he declined. So unfortunately we do not get a reading on Bang, but if I were to guess, he'd probably be one of those guys who's up there in like the 10,000 or above range. I mean, if you haven't watched my How Strong Is Bang video, please check it out because I basically gush over him for 22 minutes. He also reads Fabuki, and it turns out that she has a score of 19, but you know, we also have to remember that it is not reading her Esper powers, which is where her true power lies, it's just reading her physical capabilities. This chapter actually also touches on that when we see Fubuki easily take care of all the mini spiders that came out of the corpse of Spiderino. Genos is also tested, but he cannot be read because he's a machine, of course, and it can only read physical power. So now let's get to the two juicy ones of this chapter. So Child Emperor turns the mask on King, and it turns out to be unmeasurable. So of course we know why this is. King is not physically strong. His power comes from a supernatural ability. So, Child Emperor, of course, thinks that this is just because King is just way too powerful for the mask to read him. And this is also where we're finding out that the max limit of the mask is 10,000. It won't read any higher than that. So that brings us to the next and final reading, and that is, of course, Saitama. So as you guessed it, the mask cannot read Saitama either since it has a limit of 10,000. But not only can it not read Saitama, but Saitama straight up breaks the mask from it trying to read him. But unfortunately, they are not aware of this because, of course, nobody knows that Saitama is the one above all yet. But if the mask was, like, even able to read Saitama, it would probably be, like, in the millions or something. I don't know. I'm just taking a guess. Maybe even more than that. But I also like that it depicts the mask cracking when it just tries to read his crazy power. This is definitely, like, an homage to the Dragon Ball Z scouters blowing up. Not outrageous, of course, but, you know, that is Dragon Ball Z style, after all. So, that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Let me know what you think about the Okami Mask in the comments. Let me know what you think the power levels of the S-Class heroes would be. I know this is, like, an extreme question, but just have some fun with it. Why not? I mean, we can assume that a lot of them are over 10,000, if not almost all of them, pretty much. But, 
If you like the video, please give it a like. I also have a Patreon. It starts at $2 and it gives you access to a Q&A. And if you haven't already, please subscribe as well. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.